Wingett here, back with another episode of Ask Larry Anything, the YouTube series where you can ask Larry Wingett anything in the world you'd like to know, and I'd be happy to answer it for you. We've got a big year coming up. i got a big stack of questions, but you can still get yours into me by writing info at LarryWingett.com, and I'll be happy to get to it just as quick as I can, especially if it's uh, really intriguing uh, and would be of general interest to a lot of folks. This week's question is, Larry, I have failed as a mother. I admit it, but I can't change the past, so what do I do at this point? My 25-year-old daughter lives with me, always has, rent-free. Not only does she live with me, but her boyfriend and their three-year-old daughter are here too. Both work, but both have no concept of the value of a dollar. I just recently told them that I wanted $200 a month rent starting the new year. I have heard every excuse in the book. I will not kick them out because of my granddaughter. I don't feel that she will be taken care of properly as I see this on a daily basis. I have come to the end of my rope, physically, mentally, and most of all financially. What needs to happen to make them grow up and take responsibility for not only their selves, but their daughter as well? Sincerely. And she signs it, wishing I knew then what I know now. Well, it doesn't sound to me like you know too much right now. Uh, and that's why you're writing me. You don't have a clue what to do. Listen, I appreciate the fact that you're taking responsibility for this situation and realize that, yeah, you have failed as a mother. I've always said, and this ticks a lot of parents off, but if you've got grown kids living with me, you failed as a parent. The whole goal of parenting is to get your kids to go away and be independent and be able to take care of themselves. You obviously did not give your daughter the skills to do this, and now you have become an enabler. That's right. Your fault. You are an enabler. You know, to make a mistake in the past, that's one thing. But to get to this point and continue every single day to support them... That is wrong on your part. You say your granddaughter won't be taken care of, and I'm sure that you have made it clear that you're concerned and that you will never kick them out. Listen, as long as you'll never kick them out, they're never going to pay you. Why should they? You take care of them. They both work. That daughter is their responsibility. Yes, you love her, but she is their responsibility. Kick their lazy asses out of the house. They have jobs. They can support themselves. $200 is a joke. $200 a month is all you want from them. What would it cost them to rent an apartment and be able to take care of themselves? I've been as close to $1,000 a month. Ask $1,000 from them. If they don't give it to you, kick them out the door. Oh, and you say, but I can't do this. You're right. You probably can't do that. And if you're not willing to do that, and don't say that you're willing to do that, and then don't show them that you're willing to do that, you can expect to be in this situation 10 years from now. They don't know that you'll stick to what you say because you've never stuck to what you say. You keep putting up with it. People change when they want to, not when you want them to. I hate questions like, what can I do to make sure that they take care of themselves and take responsibilities and grow up? Too late! Too late! You've never expected that from them. Because they don't have to change, they will never change. Put them in a situation. For once, be a great parent. Be, don't be a failed mother. Don't write crap like that, I'm a failed mother. Yeah, you are, but that doesn't mean you have to continue to be. Stop being a failed mother and be a responsible parent and force them, force them to start taking care of themselves. They will change when they have to change. Give them a reason to change. Stop laying down for them. 68% of society right now still pays in some way some way financially supports their adult children. That's a damn shame. And I take a lot of heat every time I get into this topic because there's so many people saying, I like having the kids around. Well, then you don't have any life of yourself. Lady, you are never going to have a life. You're not going to be able to retire. You're going to work until you drop dead on the job. Why? Because you're not forcing your kid to be an adult. She's 25 years old. She has a three-year-old daughter. She has a boyfriend. They both have jobs. Oh, by the way, here's an idea. If you can't kick your daughter out, she's blood. I understand that. 
and you can't kick your granddaughter out, and I understand that too. I got a three-year-old grandson that I would do anything in the world to make sure I could take care of him. You can still kick his lazy ass out. He's not even married to your daughter. He has no legal responsibility. Kick his ass out today. Grow up. I wrote a book called Grow Up Hair. Get it. Learn how to stand up for yourself. All right, folks, that's it. That's your message. A lot of you can learn from this message, though. You are being taken advantage of by lazy, whiny kids, and it's your fault. Stop being an enabler. Hey, listen, folks, write me, info at LarryWingate.com. I hope this message has been fun for you to listen to. If you know people in this situation, be sure to share it over and let them listen to what I have to say. Follow me at uh, Larry Wingate fan page on Facebook, on Twitter at Larry Wingate, and so forth. I'll see you next week.